Hello, my dear friends, and welcome to November 2018 through the eyes of astrology for zodiac sign Sagittarius for both men and women all over the world being born under this sign. My dear friends, I decided to record not tell about astrology because this month of November is extremely powerful month, not only for your sign, for all 12 zodiac signs, but especially for you, my dear Sages, Jupiter, your ruler, is coming your home, meaning in your sign. So there is, you know, lots of things so you can celebrate about. Okay, now, uh, what I wanted to say. Ah, so this video is for people with sun in Sag, moon in Sag, and especially for people with rising sign in Sag, no matter basically which sign. So let's get started. Okay, my dear Sagittarians, let me first start with the sun. Obviously, sun uh, is passing through your uh, 12th house and, you know, uh, sun is uh, kind of, mm, you are kind of, uh, you know, working, you know, behind the scene. Probably uh, this is you preparing um, some new project. This is you realizing, you know, what maybe even is your purpose. Maybe this is you realizing what exactly what you need to do uh, in this lifetime. So this could be very, very big. Uh, sun, uh, you know, um, is kind of, while sun is passing through your 12 house, you can be sleeping a little bit, you know, exhausted, uh, you know, you do not want um, to talk maybe about your problems, you know, um, maybe this also could be like a secret crash, not for all of you, for some of you, but, you know, all I'm saying, this is basically preparation mode. So, when sun finally uh, hit uh, your, uh, your sign, uh, which will happen on 22nd of November, obviously you will get injection of energy, power, strength and courage until 22nd of November. Probably, you know, you are not ready to come, uh, you know, up front, you know, publicly, but then be ready to shine also. In your 12th house, there will be conjunction with the sun. Yes, I'm talking about new moon. Of course, this is big. Because new moon in conjunction with the sun, and by the way, this will happen on November 7th, you know, uh, you, will, you will realize, aha, uh -huh. so this is what I need to do. Aha, uh -huh. this is, you know, where my life is heading. And probably, you know, because you are dealing with the 12th house, I think that you will be nudged by, you know, little help, help from a God directly. So I think you will have like, you know, a help from spiritual realm. Okay, now, um, Jupiter is sign will enter your first house on um, 8th of uh, November. So 8th of November is a big day when Jupiter, you know, will shift from your uh, 12 house, when Jupiter spent for almost 13 months, allowing you, you know, to see basically what you are born uh, for, you know, what is your life purpose, and maybe this is you changing your life completely. Uh, probably, you know, um, uh, previous one year, probably you were stuck, especially when it comes to business and your job, because, you know, Jupiter... Uh, is, you know, try you know, to give you opportunity to think, you know, on a very deeper type of a level about who you are, you know, what are your dreams, what you want to achieve, and where basically you want to expand your life. Now you will get a chance from November 8th, first of all, to expand you and to expand influence, you know, of yours towards other people. Jupiter is very powerful in your sign, in your first house, and there is a Mercury you know, waiting, Mercury in the first uh, house basically, you know, talks about you being, you know, very talkative, you know, all of a sudden. This is you talking about, you know, me, 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 me. And why not? Because obviously with Jupiter in the first house, you have so many things, you know, to share with other people, you know. 
So uh, you will enjoy in, in from November until uh, December 2019. You know, you will enjoy in your life. I will talk a little bit about later about Mercury, which is, you know, going uh, in a retrograde phase um, a little bit later. Okay, I can do that basically right away. So be ready from November 16th. Mercury in the first sign is going back. So remember who helped you in the past at least three or maybe even six months, you know, because now you can rely on these people. And also you need to be ready, you know, other people to rely on you. So simply remember your old plan. Remember what you promised someone. Remember this could be colleague, could be friend, could be even your spouse or your current partner, maybe even for some of you, ex-partner. So this is like a big promise given probably to this person. But also this could be, you know, calling, you know, someone, you listen, you owe me a service. This also could happen for you. Now, biggest change, maybe even the most important. Guys, I want to say something about North and South of, of the Moon, Rahu and Ketu. Okay. So, from November 6th, right at the beginning of this uh, month, uh, from Leo, North North Rahu is heading uh, to sign of Cancer. And this is your eighth house of sharing with other people, guys. Now, some people, maybe you do not know the, uh, those people, you know, now, but your friends or uh, completely new love partner will become your family. You need to learn how to share with people. Do not be afraid to share love, understanding, resources, money, support. So, you know, new people will enter into your life uh, who will trust you. And, you know, you need to be, you know, up to this role. Obviously, you know, uh, you need to help, you know, some people. And also you can count that these, uh, those people or particularly one person will help you and love you maybe even like nobody before for so many of you now you can start secret love relationship very 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 easily and this person will become to you like everything and i don't know why you do consider you know that this relationship should be like a secret one you know maybe this relationship will start as a secret one but probably down the road uh, you will have, you will find a strength, you know, uh, to go, you know, publicly, you know, saying, well, this is my love partner. On the other hand, um, Ketu, or South Node, is in the second house, and in the second house in Capricorn, which, by the way, is a value, self-value, there is Saturn and Pluto. Saturn and Pluto want to uh, help you to realize your own value, your own value. Uh, and I think the Jupiter in the first house will help you to realize that now you are born, you will realize that now for, you know, some bigger, you know, scales, for some bigger, you know, things that now you can achieve in your life. But you cannot achieve that with your colleagues and with your supporters, maybe with your partner, you know, or with your friends, you know. So this is you forming, organizing, you know, people, so many people, you know, all around you who will like you, you know, because of what you are doing now. So this also could be publicly, because cancer as a sign talks about, you know, publicly, you know, either many, many women or either many, 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 many men all around you. Or could be both, you know, could be both genders, of course, you know, generally speaking, this is like, you know, a big, you know, crowd. Obviously, you will be surrounded in the next year and a half as long as this North Node of the Moon is passing Cancer, meaning your eight house of shared resources. Now, uh, eight house is gaining something, but also this could be, you know, owing something to someone. Careful in the next year and a half, you know, get rid of any kind of debts that possibly you may have still in um, on your mind in your life. Okay, so. Mm, what is next? Mm, 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 mm. Full moon in Gemini. Okay. Which will happen on November 23rd, which is a full moon in your seventh house of, you know, uh, your partner. 
business partner, love partner. So because of this full moon, this is your ending love partnership or could be ending, you know, business partnership with someone uh, because ruler of this full moon obviously is Mercury and Mercury will be in a retrograde motion in your first house. Obviously, this is you changing your mind. I cannot lie, guys, you know, to you. This is you changing your mind or for some of you, this is going back to your ex because finally you will really realize that your ex is so much better person for you than, you know, anybody knew. So this could happen for so many of you. If you do not want to go back, I'm not saying you should. You can do with your life wherever you want. But all I'm saying, you know, uh, you know, something obviously is going on and probably you want to cut right at the beginning, you know. So if you find out that someone is disrespectful towards you, obviously you will speak your mind. Probably not just right away. There is uh, there's something else, you know, to its situation. But I... I cannot talk about that uh, because I need to go, you know, forward. Um, okay, never mind. Something very particularly, very sensitive. Okay, never mind. Uh, for some of you, this is not that important at all. Mars is in your third house in a sign of uh, Aquarius. And uh, obviously, you can attract a lot of people who think, you know, like you. A little bit later, uh, from November 16th, Mars will enter your fourth house in the sign of Pisces and there is a secret inside of your house. Also, there is someone um, probably in your neighborhood, you know, in your, um, someone who is close maybe to your family, someone who is rather interested into you. Now, if you're single, I can see uh, Gemini being interested into you. I can see Libra, I can see Taurus, I can see um, Virgo, I can see Leo and Scorpio. So those couple of signs will be obviously very interested into you. In the month of November, you can choose what you want. But I have a feeling that from the month of November, you will be so much more interested into you. What you can do, how you can gain, uh, you know, whatever you need. More love, more support, more money, more friends, more, you know, whatever. Um, uh, okay, what else I want? To, ah, Venus is in your um, 11th house in the sign of Libra, which obviously is house of your aspirations, goals, plans, but also this is house of your friends and this is also house of your ex. Now, there is someone, could be Taurus, could be Libra, or maybe even an Aquarian, who think of you on a regular basis, you know. Should I call this Sage? What should I do? Should I, you know, whatever. So you can count that probably your ex will call you between now and basically end of, end of month of November. Um, I think basically, you know, I mentioned everything. Uh, Uranus is playing, you know, a little bit with you. Mm, uh, old colleague probably from a previous company now can call you asking you, you know, can you find me a job? Can you, f can you help me with my career or, you know, whatever. So pay attention on people, especially people that you already know coming in your in your life. Um, beautiful month uh, where you can express, you can expand yourself, and maybe even uh, you can gain or uh, you can gain you know popularity. Obviously, you will have opportunity to be under the lamp light. And still, this is only a preparation, you know, because this type of energy will stay with you for the next one year and a half. I think that, uh, you know, from this day on, you will feel freedom and relief, big, you know, relief in every single area of your life. You know, I think that so many sages for the past year, probably you thought that nobody loves you, that nobody even see you, that nobody care for you. Now everything will change, okay? You also can change your appearance also can change your image, your outlook, your personality even, you know. And I think that you will love, 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 love month of November. Okay, so this is it. This is it. Um, I wish you all the best. Book a private reading with me if you want. Call me so we can talk. Uh, in the meantime, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like this uh, video and please share this video with your friends. God bless you all. Take care.